So, from this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. I'll get him! Get my top! One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. Bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination. Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. Not the toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. Motherfucker! Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all that shit's covered? Okay, let's try something different. We're going to take this guy down and connect directly to his neural sign. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, everything it connects to, through this Maelstrom gang method, We've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level abilities. With quick hacks, Using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, we'll install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. <laughs> Looks like he's having a problem now. Nice. Some of you might recognize these mantis blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls which makes us a very agile, fast solo. Sweet, we just found a corporate tech rifle. Corpo weapons are top of the line.
Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back. And he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier revealed a weak spot. Attacking should bring the shield down. Shields down. Let's finish him off. Boy, it ain't going your way, you cunts. Okay, let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot, and Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? or told Royce about the agent and her plans, or just decided to buy the bot ourselves. So many options, so many possibilities, and each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest.